Hi there, welcome to day seven. This is day seven of the World Hoop Day Dance Challenge. So this is, uh, we're doing the World Hoop Day Dance. We just got done with week one. This is Q&A. So I'm going to cover a few points that came up during the week of little technical points on the dance that uh, will help you out and give you some information. Also, we're going to, I'm going to give you a pro tip of how to get through the dance and really make it sing and shine. So this is a, pro, a professional pro, uh, pro tip for performing. Yeah, to say that three times fast. And also, we're going to keep up with the fun fact of the day as well. So stick around to the end for that as well. All right, so let's address a couple of points. Uh, actually, hmm, a few points here. All right, so one is that uh, a, a, a bit of a technical fact here is that the camera is in reverse. So... Uh, if you've been watching the videos and I turn around and demonstrate and I say right and you're seeing the left hand go up, um, that is because of the river, the camera's flipping this over. So notice that this is backwards. That says hipthehoopla.com, www.hipthehoopla.com, but the WW is on one part and the over here. And so this is my right hand, this is my left hand. And so follow what I'm saying on this as best as possible. <laughs> so that's uh, number one is the reverse camera angle, which I just noticed. So uh, yeah, so please, please take note of that. Okay, now that we covered reverse in the video, the beginning um, beats, there's, uh, so the very, very beginning is the techno part that you do on your own. So whatever you want to do for that is your own choreography or your own improvisation. So as long as you come down with the hands on the outside of the hoop and come down forward like this. Now, the, uh, the part that I wanted to tell you about is that in the music, when you're doing these, if you get a little confused in the counts on this, uh, of going out and out, Think of, listen to the music and hear the, the, the beats going down in the scale, like do, 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 do. So they, they go up and they go down, and that's going to help you out with the musicality of getting where this is and the movements with the music. So that's part of the, the, the dance musicality is getting that together. So you're going to really move with it. So it's not just a, 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 you know, really take this out, take this over, take this out, take this over, wow. Reach up to the, the sky. Now, if you're in a small ceiling room like this, you may need to bend down if you want to get this full extension here. Otherwise, you might be bouncing up against the ceiling there. So uh, that's another tip of, you know, it, depending on the space you're in and the hoop size that you're, you're working with as well. So if you happen to get video and you're able to do this outside, that is great because you'll have extra space and you can really take that big circle, those big circles in the beginning and make them nice and big and take up lots of space. And if you're with other hoopers too, even one or two other hoopers, you're going to have like an expanse of space. So I highly recommend getting like a couple of cameras on you so you can have some close-ups of you and then also far away where you get the, the uh, picture of the, the wide choreography. Okay, so that's a little cheating. We're gonna go over more pro tips of, of uh, polish and performing. Um, that's going to be a bonus video at the end of the whole uh, World Hoop Day Dance Challenge. And then we're also I'm going to give you camera tips as well, tips, hints and tricks, little camera hacks and stuff like that of how to get some good video and uh, do the, the submission so that you can get that all for your version of World Hoop Day. And I highly encourage you to do it too. So um, I know we're learning this for fun, for world peace, to hoop with your friends. I don't care if you're hooping on Zoom, if you're hooping outside, if you're able to get a gathering together. If you don't know anybody around you, you're just doing it by yourself. That's okay. But know that the whole world is doing it at the same time of other hoopers in the world. That's what I mean. So we're trying to get as many hoopers in the world as possible. So if you know hoopers in another country, get a hold of them. Be a hoop ambassador. And uh, let's get at least 20 countries involved in this and 500, 500 hoopers across the globe at least. And uh, let's see if we, how many people we can get on there. I don't know how many people you can fit on a Zoom call, but, you know, Kate. Okay. 
go for it. So, all right. So, um, so the, the beginning, the up and the down beats, I wanted to cover that. And then I also wanted to cover, um, a little question came up with the, um, there's a couple of, uh, hand positions and you wonder how those, the hoops changes. So we're going from here to here. I call these slide switches. So, uh, one is where you come down at the beginning and we were, we have the hands on the outside of the hoop here. But to bring the hoop up here, we can't keep the hands on the outside of the hoop. So we're bracing the hoop against us, and there's going to be a sly little hand switch right there. So I'm going to show you this real quick, what this looks like. So uh, imagine my arms are down low, and so my hands are on the outside of the hoop, and I'm, I have the hoop braced against me so the hoop doesn't fall over. So I'm from here, and I'm going to switch the hands inside like so. So here, 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 here. Okay, and so for here, here, that's going to help. And then there's another position where they switch, do, 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 and there's another slice switch back to that first position on the outside where we bring this up and bring this out here, do, 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 do. Okay, so those are a couple of little technicalities that I wanted to cover for the Q&A section today. And uh, let's see here. I think that is everything that I had in the questions, unless I have live questions coming in at the moment. But, um, and you can still continue to answer. I will cover those in the further Q and A's. So if you have any parts, of, any questions on the dance, of the, the hoop dance, I don't care if it's what to wear, whatever, whatever's comfortable, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, hopefully that answered some of those questions for the World Hoop Day dance. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you the musicality for that beginning real quick so I show you what I mean by those uh, the music upbeats and downbeats of how that goes so let me back up the music there's that first techno part and you're just doing the your your own improv to that but then we get into the slow part five six seven oops one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and down six seven eight and down two, three, four, five, six, and then reverse it. Coming behind the head, center, out, 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 and down, 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 and down, 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 yeah. All right, so I don't know if you can hear that in the music, but uh, it's real distinctive to, to me, but that's probably because I choreographed it, so. <laughs> but you're really taking those beats. Now, if for some reason, if you mess up this part, that's okay. Just sell it. So here's the pro tip of the day of how to get through things. If you, if you make like a little boo-boo mistake, whatever, something that, it, you know, it wasn't part of the choreography, just sell it. Make it look like that was part of the choreography. Make it, you know, just sell it. Um, if you're in a group of people, make it look like you're doing the solo. <laughs> so uh, just there is a great little video out there where um, there, there, there's a group of dancers and this, the, 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 I don't know, they all fall down or whatever. But anyway, this one little sassy girl just gets up there and she's in her little tutu and she is just selling the heck out of it. So yeah, so that's what I mean by doing that. So whatever you're doing, rather than having a timid, you know, you already know where the ground is. We, we already know that. We want to look up. We want to sell it. We want to have confidence. Even if you don't have the confidence, act as if you do. So <laughs> that's a pro tip of how to perform, even if you're scared inside, um, how to get through it, and how to not be so nervous in your head and thinking about stuff. Now, here's a fun fact. If you're <laughs> So a lot of times when we are hoop dancing and doing things, we have a thing called flow face. So flow face is kind of, flow face can come in a variety of sizes and styles and shapes and all kinds of just wackiness. And so, so uh, one thing, <laughs> what flow face is, it's usually when you're in your head and you're thinking really hard about your dance. And that could be one variation of flow face. So you could be like, Mm, but you'll kind of, you know, kind of look mad, mean, whatever. But it, it also makes it look like you're not having any fun doing this. So we want to get out of having flow face. And also we have a joke about flow face in the flow community, in the hoop and circus community, that that's usually when pictures get taken of you. <laughs> so the more you can not have flow face and have 
just a smile or a, a really cool look about the enjoyment of doing the flow, you know, that is going to work out much better for you than having, you know, these kind of flow faces. So that is your fun fact of the day, the flow face. And your pro tip was selling it. And then we also had that, those sly hand moves that you can go from outside to, there, there are different variations of outside grip, but they need to be so that you can move the hoop for the next pattern there. And then working with those counts in the music on the down beats and the up beats. And also knowing that this camera rever is in reverse. So when I say right, I'm going up to the right. You could just mirror it by just looking straight on. So if I say right and you see left, I do mean right even though that's going to be a little tricky. So on those reverse, I'm not going to do the reverse anymore as long as I'm using this variation of the camera. So anyway, all right. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little Q&A session of answering these questions. Again, if you have more questions, please type them in. Let me know what, what's coming up for you, how you're liking it, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, also, be a hoop ambassador in the world. So share this with other people and uh, let's get some other countries involved. Uh, lots of other countries. I know hoopers all over the world. I can't contact them all myself. So I need your help. So please help me be a hoop ambassador. So please take it on yourself and be a hoop ambassador. We're bringing love, peace, community, and friendship to the world. And we're also trying to get hoops into the hands of kids all around the world. So if you have new hoops or you hoop, used hoops, gently used hoops, or hoops that you can retape and make them look new and refurbished again, that you can get to um, some needy kids in your community or any kind of needy group that um, would enjoy working with the hoops. This is part of what World Hoop Day is all about. So we're trying to share the hoop love of the physicality, getting up and getting physically active, getting happy, getting healthy, and sharing our community and the, our love of hooping with others. So on that note, please help me go be an ambassador in the world. Invite your hoop friends. Go type it in some other groups. Share this and all that kind of good stuff. So, And if you haven't already, please join the WHD Dance Facebook group and also the World Hoop Day Dance Facebook group as well. And on my Hip the Hoopla page, www.facebook.com slash Hip the Hoopla, I have the videos up there. I'm also on Instagram as well. I'm trying to post uh, in as many places as I humanly possibly can uh, within reason while getting some sleep and having a life. A tiny bit. This is going to be a busy month for me, so this is a little nutty, as my husband can really attest to. So, all right, I'm going to go stay married and uh, go get some rest now. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Rock on. Peace out. I will see you on day eight, and uh, that we are going to be starting the chorus part of the hoop dance and that's going to get fun and bouncy and the cool part about learning the chorus so the next week we're going to be learning the chorus um, is that you're basically going to be learning at twice the speed here's why is because when you learn the chorus the chorus repeats so we'll be doing the same moves again so it's really fun ha 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 I'm previewing ha okay go check out the uh, the week two Starting on day eight, <laughs> uh, that will be the next day, uh, tomorrow, um, for the World Hoop Day Dance Challenge. So thanks for joining, and let's get other people involved in this. Rock on, peace out. Thanks for watching.